So to get a little mobility in the spine, we're gonna do a seated cat cow, where you can grab hold of the bottom of your seat and then pull your chest open, drop your shoulders away from your ears, arching your spine, and then drop your chin, pull your belly in towards your spine and round your low back. And come up into an arch, opening the chest, dropping the head back if that feels all right. And then drawing the abs in, rounding the spine. Doing that a few times to where it feels comfortable for your spine and just get a little bit more opening and stretch for your back. Next, to be able to, to get a nice glute stretch in your piriformis and hips opening through your backside, you're gonna bring your ankle up to your knee, sit up nice and tall, pressing the knee down away from you. You can bring your hand to your ankle and then keeping your body tall, your spine long, slightly lean your body forward and you'll feel a stretch through the hip and glute area. Sit here for about 30 seconds. And then after that, you can switch to the other side, bringing the ankle up, press that knee down. Don't forget to lengthen up your spine, keeping the spine long as you lean forward. So we're gonna try some chair squats now. So you're gonna start with your feet just wider than your hips. You're gonna sit back to tap your butt to the chair, lift the arms and come up and engage your glutes. Draw your abs in, sit back, hinging at the hips, come up and engage the glutes. And if you feel like this might look a little funny in the office, maybe you guys all need to have a squat break. Let's try for 10 reps here. And then on the last one, you can hover, hold, and then come all the way back up. 